Uh, this one seems to be very intelligent. It is now considering deeply its existence. You can see that uh, this is probably the Descartes, if you like, of uh, giraffes out here, don't you think? Seb, he looks very philosophical, the Aristotle of giraffes, giving deep consideration to the angle between the tree and his neck, calculating it in his mind, figuring the isosceles triangle formed, not isosceles, the right angle triangle formed by the trunk of the tree, the neck, and then, of course, the invisible line between the top of his horns and the fork of the tree. Now, the reason, of course, I talk like that is much as I always do about intelligence, because, as I always say, every animal is, in, as, is, is as intelligent as it needs to be. A giraffe has absolutely no need to be able to do calculus or speak English. It has a need to be able to communicate infrasonically, reach the leaves, and find girls in the case of a bull, or find bulls in the case of a, f a female. He does lots of scars and lots of uh, parafilaria, that's what that is. It's a filarial parasite that eats away at the skin. All giraffes have it. He's got a, quite a nasty gash on his head, though. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that doesn't come from perhaps running away from a lion or something and then getting it caught. Yes? No? <laughs> He's been watching us for ages, completely mesmerized, as he philosophizes about his existence. Of course, when it comes to intelligence, and we discuss human intelligence, which I always think is fa fascinating, why did we get such a big brain? And of course, there are three or four theories about it, and if I remember them all correctly, uh, it's got a lot to do with, well, sort of to do with tool making. The more tools we used, the more uh, use we had for a bigger brain. Um, doesn't hold huge water, that, because there are quite a few animals that use tools and have pretty small brains. But the theory I like best is the theory of our sociality. That our enormous brains developed to the size that they did because we are natural manipulators. And the better you were at figuring out what the guy next to you was doing and what the ladies around you were doing and ladies, what the men around you were doing, the better the chances were that you would survive to create offspring. And I think that is the most elegant theory as to why our brains got so big.